You might be asking yourself, it's a cotton candy machine. What the fluff does this got to do with me? Well, it can be very easy to operate and it can also make a big mess. We're gonna show you how to set it up real quick. Starting with your base unit, you wanna unwrap it from its plastic bag. Place the bowl on top of the machine, making sure to attach all four of the clips around the outside. This will center the bowl and keep it securely in place during operation. This is also a good time for you to attach the mesh around the exterior of the bowl. This mesh is not needed, but it does help keep the flossing from coming out as quickly and making as big of a mess. You're gonna fill the measuring device up to the top. Then pour the entire amount into the center of the flossing bowl. Then turn it on. If you turn it on before you pour in there, it's gonna go everywhere. So as soon as you see the little spider webs coming off, it's beginning to floss sugar. Be ready with a few cones in your hand. You'll see down inside, it starts to build up right out of the middle there. Just start rotating your cone around the outside, grabbing that floss sugar. It'll speed up on you. This is where the technique comes in. Once you start flossing with the sugar, make sure you're ready to do the entire batch. Don't shut down the machine and let it cool off until you're done with all of the floss sugar. If you do, the sugar will harden in the holes and make it difficult to clean and start the next batch. Once you're all done, shut off the heat and allow it to spin to cool. If you'd like to do a subsequent batch, you can shut off the power and choose a different flavor, such as OJ, and you can start another batch right away. In addition to the machine, we also have floss sugar and cones for 100 servings sold as a kit, including flavors such as OJ, Silly Nilly, Blue Boo, Spooky Fruity, and Cherry Berry. Pro tip. Don't set this up under the HVAC return vent to your house, or else you're gonna say fluff me.